has it been like challenges as a black man in this industry? In this industry, per se, no. You know what I'm saying? Because this industry don't really care what color you are. We ain't, you know, we ain't hella dominant. But just the business itself, you know what I'm saying? Which a crossover all industries always challenges. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't necessarily say as a black man, but I would say maybe some of the things that hinder us as black people just not having the knowledge of how to do business. <laughs> so, you know, all the only, like the main reference I had as far as any type of business was drug dealers, you know what I'm saying? And how you get down on the streets. That's my only entrance to the business world. That's it. You know what I mean? And so you cop, you sell, you recop, you sell, you buy low, sell for more, you know what I'm saying? And so just having the knowledge on really how business really work and the different ways you can go about starting the business, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's one of the challenges I can say as a black man just on the simple fact that in the black community they don't gear you towards entrepreneurship you know like in my family I'm the first one that's starting the business you know what I'm saying and it wasn't like I got a long lineage or somebody could give me some game on it you know what I mean starting out like that you know it, that, so that's probably was one of the drawbacks is just not having all the you know the right information you know you may have this raw ambition just raw enthusiasm or whatever you know what I mean? But that couple with the right knowledge will make you that much more powerful, you know what I'm saying? And so you gotta learn things by trial and error, you know what I mean? And still learning by trial and error, you know what I'm saying? And so we look at business from a standpoint of hustling, you know what I'm saying? And when you just start now, you got that same, you know, mindset, it kind of like hinders you, you know what I mean? Because business is not hustling. It's business, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, just, you gotta know business, you know what I mean? Don't be scared to uh, uh, pay your taxes. Don't be scared to open up a business account. Take it serious, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't look at it as a hustle where, you know, it's like you against them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hustling ability versus society type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And so that's uh, probably one of the main uh, drawbacks, I think, as far as for my experience, is just not knowing the proper ways of all the, all the other avenues out there that's for you. You know what I'm saying? As a business owner, like, you know, to actually create a business plan, how to do it, the importance of doing it, why you should doing it, you know, do it. You know what I mean? and um you know how to structure your business you know what i'm saying what you're gonna be a llc you're gonna be a corporation gonna be an s corp you know what i'm saying what your structure gonna be how to really formulate that you know what i mean and um how to use business credit what the dun and brad street is you know what i'm saying how to really utilize those things versus feeling like you got to have all the money in the world in order to even get started you know what i'm saying and so not knowing that you could actually put something together and go mix and mingle with people who in the business are giving you money or loaning you money or investing, you know what I mean? And so that's probably one of the main hindrances is just not knowing, you know what I mean? That's why. I, that's when I look back on it like, damn, if I knew what I know now, I would start the business, you know, trying to use somebody else's money. You know what I mean? Putting together a business plan and, you know what I'm saying? Maybe get some, well, I didn't want to get nobody to invest. That was just like, I, I looked at it as not being independent. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to like have partners because I just, I think my personality is a little bit different. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to hear your opinion on how we doing anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to hear how you feel about I'm trying to mob the way I'm trying to mob. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, you know? But I think that was probably one of the main things. And that probably can go across all racial uh, barriers, but just having the knowledge and understanding. Like they don't teach you business in school, but maybe they did. I just wasn't paying attention that much, you know what I'm saying? To know about uh, doing business and how you go about doing it. You know what I mean? I thought I did it because I got a business license, you know what I'm saying? Or I got a sales permit, like I just achieved something, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's different levels to actually starting a business and how you start, you know what I mean? If you're gonna be in it for the long haul, then, you know, you probably wanna do you know, do everything. I was talking to a young dude uh, the other day, like, man, you know, he, you know, he, he started his company, just starting it, you know what I mean? But he kind of like one foot in, one foot out, you know what I mean? Don't, I didn't really make that commitment. Like, well, you know, this is just some little side shit I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to woo woo. I'm like, well, if you treat it like some side shit, it's going to treat you like some side shit, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to be in this business, in any business, you got to go for uh, both feet down, you know what I mean? You got to be willing to 
you gotta you gotta do it for real because if you set the standard of it just side and then if it's just something you're doing on the side then you ain't gonna never give it at your all you're gonna always be looking at it like you know it's ah uh, so if i fail it ain't so bad like you know what i mean but um you know business require a lot you know what i mean that's why people say it's like they baby because that's how you gotta nurture it and that's how you gotta cultivate it. that's how you gotta treat it because it demands so much of you you know what i mean it's almost like another human being you know what i mean you gotta feed it you you gotta be there if you're not there then it's just gonna die it's like a plant it's like a crop it's like anything else that you gotta keep cultivating it and, 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 and let it grow and you know what i mean and you gotta really be hands-on there ain't no real passive way to really go about doing no business, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you're making passive income, but you still gotta be on it though, you know what I mean? So, you know, but yeah, that's probably one of the drawbacks, I believe, as far as, uh, you know, being black, just because our educational system and shit ain't set up for us to really win, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really set up for us to really do nothing but go to jail, you know what I'm saying? They prepare us for that, to get us acclimated for that, but, you know, actually, you know, going into business, People look at me like I was crazy for saying I'm finna start a business. You know, you gotta fight all the naysayers, your family, maybe the girl you with, or whatever. You know, I don't know how many times I heard, oh man, you tripping, man. You need to go get your real job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh man, you finna sell t-shirts, man, you tripping. What? I'm like, when I told my, my, my cousins, who I thought was a hustler, right? I'm like, blood. I'm finna sell t-shirts. I just knew he was gonna be with it. He's selling everything else. All right, you selling t-shirts, what? You tripping. Probably look like I here selling a shirt. I'm like, nigga, we all got shirts on. What is you talking about? All right, whatever. I'm finna do it, watch. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the mindset you gotta have. Fuck with everybody talking about. I don't care who it is, your mama, your everybody. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have some slick to say, cause they it ain't they vision anyway, ain't they dream anyway? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta be willing to mob. You gotta tell people like you gotta rep your, you gotta rep your your company or your brand like it's a game. You know what I'm saying? And same way you rep your block or your hood or whatever, you gotta have that same type of passion and ambition about your company. You gotta be willing to say fuck everybody and everything, and this is what we doing, and I don't care how you feel about it. It may not be for you, but it's gonna be for somebody though. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have that type of mindset, you know what I'm saying, to really go, go in business. My grandma's telling me, oh, I may need to get a job. I'm like, whatever. But, that's just the test you gotta go through so to see if you built for it. If you ain't built to hear somebody talking shit, then nigga, yeah. it's gonna weed you out. You gonna quit, yeah. you feel me? You When you make it through and they see you keep going, and next thing you know, it go from, oh, man, I ain't selling those shirts to, oh yeah, that's my my folks make them shirts. Yeah. Oh man, that's my woo woo. Oh yeah, oh man, oh yeah, woo. Oh yeah, oh, oh you wanna get down now, huh? Oh, okay, yeah, rap. 